back like we never left. What is good, everybody? If you are new to the channel, allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Weave, and here on my channel, we coach you on three important facets of your life. First, on your personal growth and development. Second, we push you forward in your professional careers as you continue to grow in both business and entrepreneurship. Third, we always help you to build, maintain, and nurture long, lasting, and more meaningful relationships. Today's video was an email request after a coaching session, which I thought was important to address immediately. And that is how the hell your ex moved on so quickly after your relationship ended. Now, if you don't know much about me, I don't like to waste time and I'm ready to get into it. So let's do that right now. You can't change the next chapter of your life if you keep rereading the last one. Today, I want to keep it all the way 100 with you about your expectations. Because in a lot of coaching sessions, I've seen a lot of skewed perspectives as to the actions of an ex. And in some cases, I have people asking how they can win their ex back. But in this specific instance of this email, it was a bit more curiosity as to how the hell their ex moved on so quickly. And I believe it's great to understand human nature and how we view our relationships. See, sometimes when you've been in a relationship or marriage with someone for years, you begin to get comfortable, right? You begin to think you understand your partner in and out. You have this uncanny ability to answer things about them and think you have it figured out, right? You share love. Love, and that love may have been tested in the past, but the two of you made it through and now you are happy. But sometimes there are underlying issues that you, yes, you, ignored. There are problems in your communication. There were flaws and the system, the institution of your love, it was compromised. Know why? Because you got too comfortable. The very idea that your ex moved on weeks or months after a breakup should tell you a few things. First, that you were blinded and in a daze about their commitment to you. If someone is back dating after a short amount of time after a breakup, that means they have been seeing that man or woman for months prior to your breakup. Maybe they weren't even sleeping together yet, but they were talking, dating, hanging out, however you want to define it. They had a side hustle going on during your relationship. And more than likely, you may have had been in a relationship with someone or married to someone who may have been emotionally unavailable in your relationship. And what do I mean by that? I mean, you were with someone who when things get too serious in a relationship, they don't want to deal with that level of commitment necessary to continue. The second possibility is you quite possibly missed all of the necessary signs of something being amiss in your relationship. You ignored that they were always on their phone texting someone, showing up late for your meetups or date nights, lying about who they were spending time with, canceling on you at the last minute, not communicating with you as much through calls or texts, having less intimate interactions with you, not telling you when something is bothering them, seeming annoyed by your very presence, spending way more time with family and friends than they ever did before, starting silly ass arguments with you over the tiniest of things, basically becoming someone who was absent and distant in your relationship. See, as human beings, we sometimes try to literally live in a fairy tale where we convince ourselves that nothing was wrong that's everything is great right now. And we make excuses for the actions of others, especially someone that we love and adore. See, they were emotionally moving on from your relationship while still in your relationship. They were connecting with a new man or woman while still in your relationship. They were disconnecting their love and respect for you while still in your relationship. They were buffering the hurt that they would feel post breakup while still in your relationship. And afterwards, you were left holding the bag. What bag? The emotional bag. The what the hell happened bag. But hindsight is always 2020, right? It's usually not until later when you actually reflect and say, yeah, yeah, something was definitely off. But now you're trying to figure out why they already erased all your pictures off Instagram and posting new pics already with their new boo, right? Because they ghosted you while you were still in your relationship. And you didn't recognize it because you were blinded by your love and more importantly, your loyalty to them. You also became emotionally dependent on their love and affection. And now it hurts worse because you thought you had something 
So yeah, it's a hard truth pill to swallow to realize this person more than likely who you thought they were wasn't that person in the first place. But here is the bright side. Oh, hell yeah, there's a bright side. The bright side is that now you can rebuild and start over. You can now focus on self-improvement and overall quality of your life. You can now get yourself and your codependent behavior under control. You can now have the time to stop wasting your time because it would have been way worse a year from now. It would have been even more frustrating a year from now. It's now time for you to do some self-reflection, for creating a more high demand man or woman that you lost while you were in that relationship. I know, you wanna know the whys, right? But at this point, it's over. Are the whys truly that relevant to you? Will it change the hurt? Hell no, it won't. All you would do is find other ways to stress yourself out all over again, wondering if you fit things a little bit differently, would you guys still be together? So here you go all over again, blaming yourself for someone else's actions. You are only responsible for you and your actions, period. And I get it, the emotional toll sometimes feel like too much to bear, but you were here before them and you're still here after them. So just like they did, it's time for you to move on, to get a grip with reality and in touch with improving your confidence and your self-worth. Time to embrace a new change and challenge in your life and be ready for a new chapter to start. Stop getting caught up in the what ifs and get your shit together. Get your life in order and prepare for becoming a better you. You. Don't get so caught up in the life you wish you had that you lose sight of who the hell you are. Yes, lost love is painful. It's hard. It's frustrating. And you can sometimes feel lost in the moment. But you still have so much left to accomplish in this life that has nothing to do with your past. Coping with the present is all that matters in your journey to personal growth. Every single thing that has happened to you in your life up until this point is the exact way it was meant to happen. Stop trying to relive the past and keep your eyes focused forward. This is a journey for progress, not perfection. Don't allow the heart that didn't love you keep you away from the one that will. As always, thank you to every single one of you for checking out this video today. If no one has told you this already today, I appreciate you. If you are new to the channel, I want you to become official to the squad. So before you head out, hit that subscribe button and that bell notification and become an official part of the team. I'll be back with a new video soon, but in the meantime, have an amazing day. Stay strong and stay inspired. And as always, until I see you guys next time, peace.